Hi friends, welcome to Commerce Bites. I know all are worried about Corona, the biggest issue which we are facing right now. Don't be scared. Instead, fight against the Corona. Stay at home and be safe. Okay, today our topic is to discuss about research aptitude. We will be picking up the most important part were questions asked frequently. So on to the discussion. Today we are discussing about the types of research. While discussing the types of research, we need to compare taking two researchers and we should study. Okay, first we are going to study on quantitative research and qualitative research. Quantitative research, in the name itself, it's clear that it is it deals with quantitative phenomena, while on the other hand, qualitative research deals with qualitative phenomena. In quantitative research, it is used to quantify a problem, attitude and behavior or opinion. On the other hand, qualitative research is used to used for understanding of the problem which cannot be quantified. In quantitative, it tells about how, how many or how much it is. In qualitative, it tells about it how it provides the understanding of a problem, attitude or a behavior. Quantitative research is usually structured form. On the other hand, qualitative is semi-structured or unstructured. Quantitative research is similar to detective research, which that is goes from general to specific. On the other hand, qualitative research is like inductive research that is goes from specific to general. Example for quantitative research is study conducted to know about how many persons suffer from mental disorder or how much is to estimate the treatment of expenditure or extent of medicals. Qualitative research for example is the study conducted to know about why people suffer from mental disorder and how these affect the personal life of a person. Moving to the next type of research that is fundamental research and applied research. In fundamental research it is used to generalize and makes addition to the existing knowledge base. On the other hand applied research is used for another specific social or business issue. In fundamental research, it is conducted for formulating theories and has a greater scope of application. In applied research, it is conducted to find solution for any particular problem or to analyze a particular issue. Moving to next, conceptual research and empirical research. In conceptual research, it is based on the establishing a concept or a theory based on an observation or intellect and not on experiments. But on the other hand, empirical research involves performing experiments to test relevance of old theories or to provide base for another new theories. In conceptual research, it is based on theoretical approach and it is usually used to develop new theories or to redefine the already existing one. In empirical research, it is based on a practical and experimental research. Next is descriptive research and analytical research. Descriptive research, from the word itself, it's clear that it is simply to explain what occurred or what is occurring. For example, describe a problem, situation or phenomena. On the other hand, analytical research explains why it has occurred or how it occurred. In descriptive research, it is description, classification and comparison are used to describe the phenomena. For example, analyzing the trend of prices of the pulses. On the other hand, analytical research is the cause and effect relationship is explained and for example, analyzing the reason behind the changes in prices of the pulses. Moving to the next set of research that is deductive research and inductive research. Deductive research aimed at testing a theory while 
Inductive research aimed at formulating theories or exploring new phenomena or reinterpreting the existing theory from new perspectives. Deductive research is the journey from general to specific. And inductive research is a journey from specific to general. Researcher considered it as already established three theory and test its implication on particular sample that is deductive research on the other hand in inductive research researcher analyzes any specific issue on different sample units and if there exists a pattern in behavior then it is then generalized in deductive research it begins with hypothesis and it is general, generally associated with quantitative research. In the other hand, inductive research begins with researcher questions and it is generally associated with quantitative, qualitative research. There is an easy method to keep in mind that deductive research that is general to specific. Specific here means particular. So, let's keep take their first letters D for deductive and G for general and P for specific that is particular. DGP which is one of the rank in the police session. So, DGP is deductive general to specific and inductive on the other hand IPG that is inductive specific and general. Understood? Now let's discuss the questions. Question number one. Interpretive research is. Options are quantitative research, option B qualitative research, option C fundamental research and option D action research. Here the answer is qualitative research. Moving to next question. Pure research platform. Options are qualitative research, quantitative research and fundamental research, action research. The answer is fundamental research. Moving to the last question. Research where hypothesis is not important. Options are qualitative research, quantitative research, fundamental research and action research. The answer is qualitative research is the research where hypothesis is not important. With this note, we are concluding. Till my next video, keep on preparing for your exam. If you like this video, please click on the like button and also please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.